Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel, y'all. I am back this afternoon. Um, I thought I would do a recap of how far I am on my craft fair, how much I have made, and how much do I have to go. Um, so anyway, just to let you know to all the items I'm going to show you, I, I do have a playlist listed crafty um, craft fair series 2022. Um, linked down below my channel. If you go to playlists, I'll also try to link these videos below. Um, but anyway, and if I don't have one in my playlist, I'm going to try to make sure I have them all there. Um, anyway, if you're interested. So let's just jump right in. I thought I would just share with you um, what I've made, how many I'm going to make, so forth. So let's start right over here. I'm going to start with these. Um, these sweet little pieces that I made, I thought they'd be absolutely darling to add in for my craft fair for Christmas decor for people, so forth. I did purchase the kits at the Wood Connection. I painted them, decorated them, and I think they turned out so cute. I have two of them, so here I have these two. That's all I've got. I'm not going to do any more. And so I will just add those two in. So I'm really unsure about pricing um, yet so far. So I probably won't go over too much on pricing uh, unless I just have it in my head exactly what I think I want to charge for it. Um, but closer to the time of my craft fair, which is at the beginning of December, I will definitely let you know. So anyway, I also have my book pillows. Y'all, these book pillows are absolutely darling. I absolutely will be putting them in my craft fair. I think they turned out so cute. I've got two made. My goal before was to try to make one every week and that didn't happen. I got so busy, but I definitely am going to make at least four more of these. My goal is at least six, maybe eight if I can swing it. I really need to work. I really need to work on those. But anyway, they're definitely going to go in my craft fair. Um, as far as pricing for these, I'm thinking I probably will sell the book pillows for $25 to $30. Um, maybe, I, I, I'm thinking around that price. I could change my mind on that. But that is so far what I'm thinking I'm going to charge. So anyway, love my book pillows. So fun to make. And I was inspired to make those from Carly Gets Crafty. Okay, so let's just move on. So this isn't too, too long. Um, Y'all saw my video that I did the other day of this super, super sweet Christmas album that I made from the Candy Cane Lane um, paper collection. And I love how this turned out. It is absolutely just beautiful. And I'm going to put this in my craft fair. I have a goal of probably at least three more albums to make um, for my craft fair. Last year I put them in my craft fair and I sold all but one. And so I think that that was really good. Now, talk pricing for these. This one right here, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do $55 to $60 on this one. Some people that know about albums will probably say that's too cheap. But if you go to a craft fair, they're not always going to pay what you what you want for it. And what you, what you as someone that makes these yourself, how much you, however much you know the value is. Hope, hopefully you understand that. So I try not to overprice them. I did pay like $25 for the papers and so forth. And plus it took me like, it took me about eight hours. The video that I put out for y'all. It literally took me about six to eight hours to make. And so I have to stop, start, and plus I wanted to make sure I have things completed and so forth so I could show you. So anyway, it's a it's a time consuming thing. Um I would I would love to get a little more for it. I think it's well worth more than that, but that's my thoughts right now. I could change my mind, but I don't think I'm going to go less than, I'm not going to go less than 50 on it because I think it's just beautiful. And I think that, yeah. Okay. So other little albums, this one that I made, I think this one is so cute. It'd be fun for a kiddo. And I'm just going to go ahead and my intentions were actually in the beginning just to make this because this was from the die from, um, 
Scrap Diva Designs, and her dies are absolutely amazing. And I made this. This is even displayed, I believe, on her site as well. And I think it would be a cute addition. And I'm thinking I might make one more, one or two more maybe albums like this with the disc binding like this. And um, I think that those would be super cute. I'm not going to go overdue on it, but I think that they'll be super cute to add in. So I'm definitely going to put those in. Now these two albums right here, these two um, folios that I made, I'm going to put them in my craft fair. And these didn't really take me a whole, whole lot of time to make. So I'll probably put, we'll put like, let me know what you think, how much I should put on here. Because I'm thinking I probably will put 20 to $25 on each one. Um, this one right here, probably I'll put 20 on it. Okay, so um, moving right along here. Um, if you saw my videos a couple, about a month or two ago, I made these cute candy canes. Y'all, these turned out so fabulous. And I absolutely had a blast making these. And these are going to my craft fair. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to do probably $10 for each one. Um, eight to ten. Let me know what you think on that. I am excited about those. I think they're darling. And I have, I believe I have ten of those. That's all I purchased, so I'm not going to be doing any more. Um, I have four of these cute, cute, cute little, um, little flags here. And I thought I would just add them in as well. I did not do a video of these. I did a short of them. But all I did was paint them and decorate them. And I think that they're so cute. So I'm going to add those in. Like I said, I do have four completed. Okay, so I'm going to move those over out of the way for a second. So earlier in the year, I made this right here. I think it's so cute. Y'all, I'll be honest, I got to make some more of these. These turned out darling. I love how these little, these little notepads turned out. And let me just show you. I just really had a good time making these. It's got a chipboard cover and it's got the paper. You've got a pocket over here. And these could be, these are durable and could be thrown in your purse. So I need to make probably, probably at least 10. I want to have at least 10 or 12 more of these. So I need, I'm going to have to just devote time to catching up on what I need to make of things I've already made, if that makes sense. But anyway, y'all. This is so fun to make. I think you will love it. Okay, let's go to this one right here. Y'all, I made this super, super sweet. This is like, um, this is like, um, like the little discs. And let me just open it up here and show you. Made a little album to put photos in for baby. And the, I put this in here so it could be like for the, for the hair, like a lock of hair. And I just made a little album. It has enough pages for all 12 months and so forth. And that's what this is for. And here you can see, got it right here. Let me see if I got something. Let me see the back of this. Let's see if that will work. There you go. So anyway, these are the little discs that you can put out by, the, by your baby whenever you're taking pictures and so forth. I have this one and I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more in blue. I'm not, I don't know how well they'll sell. I hope that they sell. Um, I probably will do $30 or 25 on these as well. The, the, the discs and everything costed some money and plus it's vinyl and stuff like that in there. So anyway, got these. Um, now the decorated Starbucks cups. I'm definitely going to put these in. I think I have four or five made. And I'm just going to finish decorating with the cups. Let me see the other ones that I have here. Okay, I've got two more. I have this one. And I have this one. So I have four completed and I have two more cups. 
um, what I'm going to do with these, I'll probably put hard candies down inside of them closer to time. So that's my goal for that. So I do have a video for these and all I did was vinyl them. I purchased the cups at Starbucks and so forth. And no, I'm not professing to making the Starbucks cups. I'm just only decorating them. So anyway, a lot of people are doing it. Okay, let's move right along over here. So, earlier in my craft fair series, I did the Tooth Fairy bags, y'all. Remember this? I have a little poem, and I have a little bottle for the tooth, and so forth, the bag, and it comes with like a little fairy wand. The little boy ones came with a little flag, and other than that, it's the same. So, I have, I believe I have like five or six of each color, and so these are going to be a great addition to my craft fair. I think they're cute. And I think that they'll sell. I'm going to have to display them really well. Okay. Post-it notes. So, y'all know post-it notes. These kind, they sell every time. One time I had them in my craft fair. And literally, I probably made 60. And I went home with none. I sold every one. And so, I have a bunch of these pens. I have some post-it notes. Why not make some? I'm going to add these in. Usually, I'm going to do these for like um, like two for three dollars or something like that. Inexpensive. You need some inexpensive items for your craft fair. Okay. So, remember the pencils? I got the pencils from the Wood Connection. I painted them. I decorated them. And I believe I have like 10 of these in different colors. So um, I'm definitely going to have these in my craft fair. I've already finished those. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, but anyway, I absolutely love them. Love, love, love them. Okay, earlier in my craft fair series this year, I also made these right here. And I think these would be a great little addition. I think maybe... Um, these are like $2 items, but it's got a little Kleenex inside. And the box is so cute. Okay, I don't want to bend anything here. But I think that I will make a few more of these. I've, and I have Kleenex from, from when I made these like before. And I just have them in my stash. So why not, why not go for it? I'm definitely going to go for it. I only have three made. I definitely need to probably make at least, have at least 10. I'll put them in a nice basket. And I think that they'd be great, great to go in like with a gift pack or whatever. Okay, I'm going to sit down here because I've been standing up. Um, yesterday, I posted these Milk for Santa bottles. If you can, uh, let me see if I can put something white behind there. Hopefully you can see that. But anyway, I absolutely love this idea. I think it turned out so cute. I have 12 made. I had ordered 12 bottles and I've completed all of these. So I will be putting these in. I'm thinking I probably will do eight or $10 on those bottles. Okay, so um, these right here, these are the K-Cup, um, the K-Cup um, hot cocoa little little cups that I made. I think I have, let me see how many I have. I think I'll have like 15 of those. So I've got all 15. I'm still going to do hot cocoa packs because not everybody has a Keurig machine. And so anyway, but these are a great little gift for, you know, teachers or so forth. And they come with a Ghirardelli chocolate that's down inside. So I'm definitely going to do these. I probably will do these for like $4 a piece. I'm thinking for, yeah, I'm thinking probably $4 or maybe two for seven. I think that would be a good deal. So, okay. So my sweet, sweet, sweet mailboxes. I think I've got eight or nine of these. That's all the mailboxes I had. So that's all I'll make. But I'm going to definitely be putting these all in my craft fair. And I'm going to add candy inside. Like a little baggie with candy inside. But I think they're so cute. I love them. See? Darling. So, so cute. And I had so much fun making those. I really, really did. So I'm definitely going to put these in. Let me know what you think of pricing for things like this. 
So I paid a dollar for the mailboxes. I got them in the one spot at Target. What, a dollar or two dollars, something like that. And the paper and everything. I'm with the candy in it. I'm thinking I might do eight or ten. Eight dollars maybe. Maybe seven. Let me know what you think. So I've got all of those cre um, finished. Now these right here, these zipper pouches. This is part of my craft fair series this year. And how cute are these little zipper pouches? They will fit across a book and so forth. And um, I'm thinking, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put them in my craft fair. I might, I might not. It depends if I have time to make more. But these are not the highest of my priority, okay? Um, I do have some like zipper pouches from that I had made last year that I have stored that I'll add those in and I might just add these two in just because, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna make any more because they are time consuming and um, they were fun to make though. They really are. And I'll probably do these for like $7 a piece. Okay, let's get on to the good stuff. We got the little golden book journals. I have had so many people write me about these beautiful journals and I just had a real blast making these. These were so much fun. I will make them again next year. They are so cute and just so fun to make. Now I did get myself one more of these books. I found it on Amazon. I think it was like $4. And so I'm gonna keep it in my stash unless I have time to make a few more. But right now I'm gonna make sure I have plenty of everything. But I absolutely had a blast making these. I have 10, 10 of these I believe, or eight. Eight or 10, one of the two. But anyway, all different kinds. If you saw my videos recently, which I'm getting a lot of big, a um, lot of big views on this on this video. So thank you so much for that. Um, pricing for these, I'm really up in the air. I'm thinking at least thirty dollars for these. Um, tw I was saying I think before I said maybe twenty to thirty, but I'm thinking it's probably. $30 at least for these because it was a lot of time, a lot of supplies and so forth. Maybe more. I've had some people tell me I should charge 40. I need your opinion, y'all. You really, I do value your opinion. Let me know what you think. I just had a blast making these. They're so fun to make. And yes, that's, that's that. Now, got these right here. I'm gonna, this is all I'm gonna make. I've got uh, six, five, and that's all I'll make. I'm not making any more of those, but I think that they're going to be eye-catching on my table. I really, really do, and so I'm going to add them in. I probably will do these for like maybe um, maybe $10 a piece for them. They're great for tiered trays or whatever, and how cute are they? They were so much fun to make. Okay, so this is all I had to show you that I pulled out. Some of the things that I have that I have not made yet that I need to sew are my bowl koozies. So I will definitely be making the bowl koozies and so forth. They sell every year. I will sell them for $8. I've been selling them for $8 for the last few years. The first year I made bowl koozies, I actually um, sold them for five and I realized I gypped myself. I shortchanged myself. I sold them like in 10 minutes of me opening up my, my booth. And so I, I needed to up my price a little bit and I still had no problems with selling them. I went to craft fair, um, recently at Canton here in Canton, Texas, and there's people there that are selling them and I notice all their prices are all $8 as well. So $8, I think is a good price for the bowl koozies. I probably will only bring 20, maybe 25. Um, and that's probably it. I'm not going to overdo it because I'm going to have so much other stuff in my booth that, you know, I'm just, you know, I'll just have a lot of different stuff. Um, the pet bandanas, I did a video of the pet bandanas and where you could tie it around, uh, or actually it had the elastic you slip over your pet's neck. Um, I'm not going to do that way. I'm definitely gonna do pet bandanas, but I am going to do the kind that slips on the collar. I've got all my fabrics over here and so forth. I might spend some time tonight cutting fabric is what I really do because that's one of the biggest 
parts of making sewed items is cutting. Um, so I really need to make a goal of sewing those, but I will definitely come back and show you when I make those. I'll do an updated pet bandana video and um, so forth. So yeah, hot pads. I recently made hot pads and I don't know what I did with the one I had sewed, but I think that I'm gonna try to put some hot pads in my booth again. I think I'll probably do them for like maybe five or six dollars a piece. I've sold them for four before. I think I kind of shortchanged myself on those. They don't take long to make, but it's the supplies. And you may say, Dina, you're not charging enough. And no, I'm probably not. But also too, you have to remember to charge what is popular in your area. If things are a little bit more expensive in your area, you know you can raise your price a little bit. If they're a little cheaper, you know maybe you shouldn't go this much, but you gotta remember what you're, what you're selling and how much things costed when you bought your supplies and so forth. So you gotta remember that. So that's why I sit down like right before my craft fair and really think of my pricing for these. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot of work to do and, um, that rainbow back there, I have one more and I'm, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to add the rainbow in. I still have a couple other wood things that I have purchased that I need to paint that I have to, that I will bring videos back for. And those items will go on my craft fair. My wood items, like last year, I made the Santa Clauses. I made uh, the snowmen and um, another one. And I sold quite a bit of those. My rainbows, I'm going to do some more other smaller rainbows. And some of my houses, I'm going to do the houses too. They sold for me last year. So I really, really, really think that they will sell this year. So anyway... Something that I did sell last year that I probably won't sell this year. I might take them and just put them in my craft fair because I have them. But y'all, I'm probably, I did not do well on the keychains. And keychains, I just didn't really sell too many. I might have sold a little handful of them and I still had quite a few. So I'm not going to be making any for this year's craft fair, but I might take items with me that I've already made and I will come back with a different video once I clean out pull out all my bins for the closet because I have everything stored nicely in my closet another thing that I'm going to make and I will probably utilize my Cricut design space is like um gift card holders in the shape I have saw them in my Cricut design space of of like gift card holders in the shape of pencils and um, different things like that or purses and things like that. I want to make them in shapes and I and I was looking at my Cricut design space today and I that's one of the things I'm going to do. Rather than just doing plain um, like envelopes and things like that which do sell but I think that having shapes and things like that will really really bring in the people to your booth and they'll be attracting eyeballs if you get what I mean. So anyway, I have a long way to go. I have purchased all these suckers and I'm definitely going to do the the suckers. I'm going to decorate, put them in decoration. I purchased all these um, at Hobby Lobby. They were 69 cents a piece. I do have, let's see if I can show you, minus the big one here. I have a little collection of them going and I'm going to just use utilize my Cricut Design Space to cut out the designs to put the suckers up inside. So I'll, I will be utilizing my Cricut design space for that. Um, and also too, last year, and let me see if I could show you. Last year I did the tea favors, which flew off my table, flew off. They were so, so, so popular. And um, this week I ordered my teas on Amazon. So I'm gonna do, I have 60 teas, so I'm gonna do 60 of the tea favors. I have two of these, these honey sticks, and I also have the little spoons that will go with them. I can't remember last year if I added in a peppermint or not. I'm gonna have to look back at my video and see if I had added a peppermint. I think I might have, but um, I'm gonna do 60 of those. That's how many tea bags I have, so that's how much, how many I will do. Um, yeah, some, some people have asked me, how do I know how much, how, how do I know how many to sell? 
Um, I just kind of put goals for myself and that's what I do. I put goals for myself and I say, just like the pillows, I say, I'm going to make four more so I can have at least six. I just, in my mind, I just put it in my mind, like how many do I want to do? And that's what I do. Um, as far as like my Starbucks cups that I have, that I have over here, um, I've only got two more and I'm not going to go buy any more. So if I do, um, it'll, I'll make it an even 10. That might be it. And I'll have to just cut some more vinyl and really they're simple to make. I'm just going to add candies inside and so forth. So that, that's what I do. I just kind of put goals for myself as far as like this one right here with the little, the little, um, baby on here and the little milestone discs that are in there. I've already got the the boy one. I have to finish the album on it because I hadn't finished it. And I think I might just do one boy and one girl, see how they sell. I was thinking I might do um, two of each one before, but I'm thinking I might just do um, one boy and I've already got the girl one ready to go. So as far as albums, I just kind of just think, how many do I think I can make? between now and then because you know your booth most everything that you have everything is you know handmade and so it takes time mostly if you work full-time you know that you know it just takes time for things to be made and so forth so you have to put what you think is realistic for you to be able to make okay uh, the tea favors what i'm going to do is i will sit one day and i will make all the little envelopes to put them in and i will stuff them and i will get them all ready wipe it out in one day that that will be my goal it will probably take me several hours to do them all because i'm going to be making 60 you know so forth so anyway um as far as like these right here i just whatever i've got in my stash is what i painted and what and um how I decided to stop at like eight of these is because I think I have one or two more. Um, I just was kind of tired of doing the same ones. So that's what I do. I say, well, I've got enough, you know. So you can just kind of decide what is best for you. Now, these little sweet candy canes, I had 10 and I did them all. They were so much fun to make and so forth. And you just want to make sure, you also want to make sure that you have enough to cover your table because like my craft fair will be nine to four on one day. It's only a one day. That's the only one I do all year. I usually do really well. So, but you have to have eye catching um, products. You have to have things that people are gonna want. Um, I like some things that are lower value, like the post-it note holders or the little notebooks or whatever like that. All that stuff like that, you know, is eye catching. It's great for, um, it's great for teacher gifts and things like that. And like that time I had like 60 or 80 post-it notes and I sold every one of them. People were buying them for kids in their class, their kids' classrooms. That's what they were buying them for. So, um, how I decided how many tooth fairy uh, bags to make and all that is like, I only had 10 bags. So I just stopped at what I had and so forth. And like, same with, um, like my little mailboxes and so forth. Um, like this right here, I've only got my five, um, my five gingers here. Well, that's all, that's all the felt I had for those colors. And so I just stopped at what I have. So you can just decide what is the best realistic goal for yourself. Make sure you have enough on your table. Don't overprice everything. If you do, you're going to bring it home at the end of the day. People are out trying to find Christmas gifts and they love to find a good bargain. They love to find something. You also want to make sure you value what you have created and you want to make some money on it, but don't overprice it. I hope that that hope that makes sense. So you just don't want to overprice anything. And people have written me met on Messenger and asked me questions about it. And that's one thing I say is don't overprice your items is if you do you won't sell them and you'll be discouraged at the end of the day because you'll bring it all home and so forth and you just don't want to you don't want to bring it home the reason you make them and participate in a craft fair is to try to sell your beautiful items that you've made so i hope that this is helpful to you remember i'm going to link everything you see here i will have it linked below if I can link the playlist, that's what I'll link. If not, I will um, 
link all the videos below and hopefully you'll want to go and check them out if you need to check them out. I do have more items coming. Uh, so yeah, I've got a lot more work to do. I really need to finish up what I've started on things instead of keeping making more and then I don't have enough. That's why I've gotten to where I start making them all, just like my milk jugs. I didn't stop till I was done with all of them. You know, I wanted to finish all 12 that I have. I finished them and now I'm gonna have them in a box so I have them ready to go. Anyway, hopefully this you find this helpful and um, I really do appreciate you stopping by my channel today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your support. I really, really do love you guys. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And, you know, let me just say, just know that you are loved. And everybody, we are all in this big crafty family together. And we are all here for each other. And um, yeah, I hope that what I have shared with you helps you. And I hope that um, you guys have a great day. I've got a pot roast in my crock pot that's probably done. I need to go make rice. You know, you give my husband some meat with some rice and he's a happy man. He'll be home in about an hour from work. So I'm going to finish this up. And I am going to go in there and finish up dinner and get some laundry in my dryer. And then I am going to, um, yeah wait for my hubby to come home. Might do a little wood painting tonight. I really need to do that. So anyway, y'all, thank you so much again and have a great day. Love you guys to the moon and back and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.